Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. Today we're changing things up by talking about covert shortwave listening antennas. What I mean by this is antennas which are completely undetectable by our neighbors or homeowner associations who frown against them. Stick with me and I'll tell you about a receiving loop antenna. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. Now it's important to understand the context or the story behind this video. A shortwave radio listener recently reached out saying they had moved into a new home, but found out later it wasn't possible to put up any visible antennas outside the house. He went on to say no modification to the house or wires could be strung up on the house in any way. His interests are in things like nav text, uh, maritime weather forecasts, WeFax, radiograms, and monitoring ham radio data modes. I guess that's why he's watching my channel. Now what complicates this antenna is 2,200 meters, 630 meters, long wave, medium wave, 160 meters, 80, 40, and so on. There simply isn't enough space for a traditional antenna, so we're going to try something different. We're going to try an active receive loop antenna. Now this receive loop antenna is called the RXL and it comes from Chameleon. Now I reached out to a few different companies when I was trying to solve this problem. Chameleon came back to me and said they had a active receive loop antenna covering 137.5 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. Naturally, I was quite skeptical about it, but Chameleon said, we'll go ahead and send you one over. You can test it, see if it meets this operator's requirements. Then if it does, share what you find with the community. And as an added bonus, you get to keep the antenna. Well, kudos to Chameleon for supporting the channel. So let's quickly go over the specs. Chameleon says we can receive with this antenna from 137.5 kilohertz all the way up to 30 megahertz. So this includes 220, sorry, 2,200 meters and 630 meters. 630 meters is important because we want to test the antenna with nav text. So going over some of the key points, it says wideband design, so it covers, it covers low frequency, medium frequency, and HF. It's highly directional, as we expect a loop to be. It's got a balanced input preamplifier, eliminating environmental noise and ground loops. It receives on 2,200 meters and 630 meter ham bands. It has flexible mounting and power options. Actually, that's true because I've mounted it horizontally on my ceiling and I'm powering it with 12 volts. And it says here that it's stealthy. It's navy gray, fades into the background sky if you happen to be mounting it outside. So look guys, companies can say whatever the heck they want to say in their marketing material. What I want to know is, can I seriously use this antenna mounted horizontally on my ceiling indoors to copy nav text from stations around the Baltic and the North Sea? So let's go ahead and put it to the test. As I mentioned earlier, I mounted the receive loop horizontally on the ceiling of the space I'm using for my radio room at the moment. One of the little known facts about loops is you can mount them horizontally. Vertical orientation is just one option. Horizontal orientation gives you an omnidirectional coverage. This omnidirectional coverage comes at the expense of NVIS. I coupled the RXL with a DX Patrol SDR connected to the bias T of the RXL. The bias T provides 12 volt to the preamplifier, which is mounted inside the enclosure of the loop. So the bias T is used to send 12 volts through the coax cable to the preamplifier in the loop. This means there's only a single coax cable connecting to the enclosure of the loop. Now I tried a couple of different configurations. The first was with Android. That was running SDR Touch with the DX Patrol SDR. I used HF Weatherfax from Wolfie, the Wolfie Link developer, to decode Weatherfax while SDR Touch was running in the background. Now I also tested with my Lenovo Yoga C940, 
running the DX Patrol SDR with HD SDR software. On the desktop, I used FL Digi to do the decoding work. So here you see I'm actually decoding radio facsimile or RTTY weather forecasts on 30 meters. This wasn't at all a difficult task for the Chameleon RXL. In fact, it was easy pickings. And next I moved up the band a bit to 22 meters so that I can decode some weather facts with FL Digi. With the exception of the learning curve for the FL Digi user interface, that was also easy pickings for the Chameleon RXL. Next, I moved down the band a little bit to 80 meters to see if I could use the Chameleon RXL, the DX Patrol SDR, and WSJTX as a sort of gateway for FT8. That worked out perfectly. Next, I set up WSJTX as a whisper receiving station on 630 meters. That worked out extremely well. Now, because the antenna is inside horizontally, I mean, here in the radio room, I didn't expect to get stations outside of Scandinavia, but I did. After just a short while of spotting stations on Whisper, Papa Alpha Zero Lima Sierra Delta showed up on my screen. If you think about what this antenna is doing, when you compare it to the size of a dipole for 630 meters, it becomes rather mind-boggling. Honestly, I can't wait till springtime when I can get this active receive loop up on the tower. So my final test with the Chameleon RXL was decoding Navtex on 630 meters. I received stations from the Netherlands, stations from Estonia, stations from Sweden, stations from Norway, stations from Germany, stations from the UK. And once again, once I overcame the learning curve of FL Digi, the antenna did all the work. Now it's taken me a while to make this video because honestly I've never had an antenna or the capability to receive signals on 2,200 meters or 630 meters. There was definitely a learning curve, but I was happy to put in the work. Ultimately, it's pretty amazing having a dedicated receive-only antenna. And with 2,200 meters and 630 meter capability, the RXL is almost begging me to generate new content for those bands. If you have some ideas for the 2200 meter band and the 630 meter band, leave it as a comment and perhaps we'll go ahead and generate some content around those two bands with the RXL. Now for those of you who have watched this video to this point, here's a special bonus for you. There's a discount code RXL25 for a 25% discount off of the Chameleon RXL. You'll find a link to the RXL in the description. So it's time to close down the video guys and look, I've had a blast making it. I could have showed you lots of shots of the RXL itself and uh, all of the components and things like that, but I really thought it was just better to show you what the antenna is capable of. So if you have some specific questions or things you'd like me to cover with this antenna, Leave them in the comments and I'll try to get through as many of them as I can. And with that, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm sharing, please leave me a comment and or a thumbs up to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll guys, as always, thanks for watching. Ciao.